So that's stereotypes. Stereotypes are behavioral expectations based on a superficial characteristic. Uh, that's one of the things that skews our ability to accurately see people because we have these preconceptions of them based on uh, our stereotypes of them. There are three other biases that we have as human beings that really influence our ability to accurately assess people. Halo effect, primary attribution error, and confirmation bias. We'll talk about all those. So halo effect is when we overgeneralize positive traits. If someone has one positive trait, uh, we tend to assign a lot of other positive traits to them. Uh, maybe this probably happened to you in high school when uh, you know you you started dating someone and you're like, oh my god, they're so smart and they're so funny and they're so cute, uh, and then you dated them for three or four months and you realize like, oh no, they're they're just cute. Uh, and you had like made up these other positive qualities, assigned these other positive qualities to them uh, because you generalized. You were like, well, they're good looking, so they must be funny. They must be smart. That's what halo effect is. Um, it, we, we often have halo effect with people that are attractive, also with people that are smart. We tend to overgeneralize those positive qualities. The opposite of this is horn effect. Horn effect is when we overgeneralize negative traits. And we often do this with people that we dislike. So if you have a coworker or a classmate and you really dislike them as a person, you're probably likely to disagree with them uh, about certain things, right? Um, or to, to think that they have bad ideas, to be dismissive of their ideas. And uh, just because someone is, just because you don't like someone doesn't mean they don't have good ideas, but you're assuming whatever quality about them you don't like, you're, you're transferring that, you're overgeneralizing that to the other parts of their personality. Another bias that uh, impairs our ability to accurately perceive people is something called primary attribution error. Primary attribution error means that um, when someone does something, I attribute the, that behavior to them as a human being, and I usually don't take um, as much, I'm usually not as thoughtful about the situation and how the situation might have influenced their behavior. So for example, uh, if I'm meeting with someone for the first time and they show up 10, 15 minutes late, my attribution is that uh, that that there's something about them as a person right that they're lazy that they're rude that they're disorganized um, i'm attributing that uh that lateness to some characteristic of them of course when i'm 15 10 or 15 minutes late for a meeting uh it's because oh there was really bad traffic that i wasn't expecting or uh something happened in the morning that that you know got me going late or whatever it was that i look to the situation uh, to explain that behavior. Whereas with other people's behavior, I assign that to their will, uh, to their who they are as a human being. And that's what we call primary attribution error, is, is um, erroneously more strongly associating people's behavior with them as a person as and, and overlooking the situational influences on behavior. Primary attribution error interacts with stereotypes in such a way that uh, when someone acts in ways that contradict our stereotype of them, we'll look to aspects of the situation to explain away those behaviors. Um, so for example, uh, Brock Turner uh, sexually assaulted a, another student when he was a student at Stanford. Um, and this is someone who you know, is obviously educated, successful, at least academically, uh, is a student athlete, is white, is from a relatively affluent family. And so that contradicts our culture's stereotype. That behavior contradicts our stereotype of you know, this good, hardworking student athlete. Um, and so when the judge, who only gave him six months, which is an incredibly light sentence, was, was basically like, hey, this is a good kid. And then he attributed this awful behavior to aspects of the situation, right? So he was drunk, he was at a party, he had just gotten to college. It wasn't him, it wasn't him as a person that did this. It was these aspects of the situation that influenced his behavior. Um, and by doing that, he was able to maintain this positive stereotype of he, had, he had of people like Brock Turner.
This is why you should be incredibly wary of first impressions. Whenever people say, oh, I'm really good at first impressions, I'm really people I'm really good at sizing people up right away, I'm always like, Are you though? Like you're you're probably not that great at it, and you probably jump to conclusions. Um, not because you're not really insightful or perceptive as a person, but just that to really understand people, one uh, meeting or one exposure is not enough, that we have to see people in a variety of different situations in order to understand who they really are as people. And one of the big problems is that we we meet people, we have a first impression of them, we, we have primary attribution error, stereotype threat, all these things, and we jump to certain conclusions about who they are as a person. And then this thing called confirmation bias kicks in. And confirmation bias is the tendency of people to look for information that confirms what we already believe. Once we believe something to be true, we shape our world in a way to support that belief. So these are our beliefs. Uh, here's the evidence uh, in support of our beliefs. And we, we tend to focus on this part here, the overlap between what we believe and what the evidence says. What we should do to understand people more accurately and really just to understand the world more accurately is to constantly challenge our beliefs by looking for evidence that contradicts our beliefs. Um, and if you believe something really strongly, then you should seek out evidence that contradicts you, your belief. Uh, because if you can't find that evidence, then great, your belief was right. And if you can, then you should start to, to question your belief of things. Um, and so it's really important to keep an open mind uh, when we're trying to figure out who people are and why they do the things they do.